Hello and welcome to Game On. Now you may have noticed this week that Microsoft did a big old info dump about Windows 10. Which is really boring. Mm. But then again, amongst all the announcements of chatting up Cortana and Windows-based interfaces, which are just boxes on screens as far as I can tell, there was the interesting announcement of the HoloLens, mm. which is Microsoft's attempt at virtual reality. And that got us thinking, what could this do for gaming? And does gaming actually need virtual reality? No. VR has been forced upon us like the wolf whistle of a builder for a few years now. First everyone lost their collective poop over the Oculus Rift, and then Sony, and now Microsoft. There's also a whole industry of swanky startups in East London doing the virtual experience marketing thing, you know, the place people know what hot couture means, and Imperials, that sort of thing. And it's also fairly pointless. We've played around with Oculus, Samsung Gear, and a load of other VR headsets. And we've always been left with the impression that these are little more than novelties. Expensive novelties, but novelties, like Paris Hilton. Ooh, old school reference. And there's a very good reason for this. VR, as it currently stands, doesn't work how our bodies do. Take Oculus Rift, that literally kickstarted this whole fad in the first place. It's missing off a few senses still, like touch and smell, and that weird electric one that fish have down their sides. It's also missing peripheral vision. So basically all VR really is, is just that the screens are near your eyes. Oh, and they move your head. And it's all on a sort of stilted axis, so you're turning your head like George Clooney Batman. It's just not adding enough to the experience to make it a must-have gadget yet. For it to really work, it has to completely cross the uncanny valley and literally fool you into believing you are there. But no matter what, at some point you've got to put goggles on your face which is a very quick way to remind you that what you're seeing is virtual. And apart from Dick Cheney, I don't think anyone's that into sensory deprivation. The other sticking point for me is that most of the headlining experiences for these devices aren't being produced solely for them. Sure, you've got your e-Valkyries that wouldn't exist without them, but people losing it over Rift Minecraft just feels weird. It's just more Minecraft. I can already play it on my PC, my PlayStation, my Xbox, my iPad, with real bricks and my imagination, I don't need to play it on my face. And anyone who says they do is either lying to you or themselves. The process of indoctrinating people into thinking this is all somehow a revolutionary step in gaming and entertainment is a bit creepy. There are all sorts of social problems that are servicing already as technology becomes a bigger part of our lives. The physical barrier we have between us and our tech is actually really important to maintain healthy relationships with other humanoids. Attempting to imbue us with technology like this, apart from the fact that I failed to see what the benefit of my phone's menu on the wall is, only seems to be an extension of this demonstrably damaging and increasingly pointless cycle. And you look like such a colossal twat.